It arises from our culture. Are they ever proven guilty? They are all innocent. Does beauty provoke harassment? They were liars. They had to prove their innocence. They couldn't get away. The silent screams of delirium. It was all they knew. Keep quiet. Pretend nothing had happened. Providing no room for them. As victim, as perpetrators. No room, no room at all. Growing up in India, you were always navigating the male gaze and whether it was traveling in a bus and holding your hands in front of your chest so as your breast not to be pinched or being ready to elbow a man because they would be rubbing themselves behind you. Every day you had to deal with it and you would be ready to fight. And in India, a rape victim is called a prosecutrix. And here, the prosecutrix is a female lawyer who's defending the rape victim. A lot of my work stems from a personal narrative. I call it a self-portrait, but in three-dimensional form. I don't think I'm defined by a medium. The medium comes to me based on the story I'm telling. The work takes over me. I'm very obsessive and compulsive. For me, more is more and less is more. I was drilling through panels, but I didn't drill through one. I drilled through 281. I had to put needles and pin. I didn't put it through one. Because it's repeated multiple times, it has a different impact on the viewer. I was blessed and honored to be the Emerging Artist of the Year. I think it was at a great critical juncture of my artistic career because I was feeling, does my work matter? And I think I had started questioning myself. When I got it, I was ecstatic, of course. I felt that somebody did value my work. The most important thing is to never compromise. If you believe in yourself, you have to just keep creating what you believe in. My work and my passion for what I do comes first.